so like I was saying um, I'm just want to show you the Asala Patel when you have to start with your onboarding you scroll to the end down there there is um, a sign that looks like a cross that's onboarding so I've closed right here I've closed because that's my ID my seller ID so for say for security and safety reasons let me just do that so because I'm already I've already done my my onboarding so the first section of onboarding is just to welcome you then you can just click there your marketplace journey starts here complete the onboarding and they also do ask you a bit of questions just to hear if you understand so the second one is um the second uh, okay the second one is um marketplace getting you to know uh what uh the marketplace uh the rules of selling and take a lot uh also on the rules um it's not really technical you can just go through them the legal service agreement that you don't have to copy someone you don't have to take some people's products without their consent because some products do need you to con do need them to consent that yes you are going to be selling our products on on a plat on any other platform um also uh, uh you have to be yeah you have to be compliant and they add they are also policies but as you can see um also return policies that you pay um for the return and also your your, your pieces will not be deceptive that now someone is ordering something and then they're getting something different so this is also on how products are showcased on take a lot this is also the display product page that how do you set your products and adding on your catalog catalog is how maybe if you want to have 10 different products how do you add in bulk and pay each item also and um, then yeah checking in is just to see if you really understand uh, and when you have questions understanding uh, the fulfillment fulfillment is uh, when you have to deliver when you are a new on take a lot you only have to deliver a full stock once um, okay once you have done your first stock they might enable you to sell on lead time on lead time that is when someone orders then you can deliver to the to the warehouse so the rule to take a lot the, the rule on take a lot is that you don't deliver to the client the customer they deliver on your behalf so setting up your logistics this is like delivery so you can either use take a lot preferred careers so like a career career guy mds um all those other ones dhl not dhl hey um yeah i don't really know Aram, not really aramex but all those <laughs> those uh local deliveries that does nationwide uh these are the preferred careers let me just check what are these uh yeah you see here here the ram korea eat value mds fast korea rtt so yeah those are the preferred careers that have their own special slot and take a lot so i stock enough stock to both warehouses and selling stock also helps you see which of your products are selling that much so then we go to paperwork and labeling this is what i was telling you about that you have to print out a few documents like your your lab, shipping labels shipping notes um, okay I think let's go on this one because this one does have a bit of confusion also um, okay uh, 
I'm holding my phone as I'm doing this and my okay first the shipping label shipping labels this um yo yeah, the jargon used here um okay p um shipping labels this um the labels that are usually at the outside of the box to show the po number that the number that you have booked you that you were booked in with and the due date when is the last day to book <laughs> to send in the stock um then you've got your shipping note this is okay this is a shipping note did they have a picture of a shipping label this is a shipping note so shipping note tells you what what here it's the products that you have and the number of that you are, the units you are sending and then this is the sq the sq it's stock keeping unit numbers and the tsn um barcodes are they barcodes no these are barcode here i don't i forgot what the tsn i TS, tsin number is and this is the product like title and this is the barcode the barcode will be like nine six blah 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 and all this and then this is like how many boxes you have of this product this is the po number it's generated by the sorry by the system once you book this is this a shipping note actually has everything it's more like an invoice yes an invoice because it's from to take a lot from you this is due when this is the po number like the unique number um and then with all the details there so yeah so the shipping level is actually small hence i said it's a 6 up uh which is like in a normal page in an a4 page there are gonna be six of them so just measure how many how big and how small they are if there are six of them in an a in an a4 page so also this one has a due date from to take a lot from raw aromatics the po number has to be the same and then this one because i have to paste it at the outside of the box i have to name that this is box one of one or box one of two box three of four do you understand <laughs> sorry for that then the other one okay i love how it shows here this is how it is this is the this is how it the shipping label is it's on the outside and this is how the shipping note is it goes inside so these are the products right the products are in boxes one two you put them that is this is box one this is box two this is box yeah let's take box one and box two so you, on box one you're gonna post the first shipping label and on box two another shipping label just like they are then you're gonna say box one of two box two of two with your product inside you take one of this shipping note put it inside one box and label it that consignment note inside or shipping note inside <sighs> okay i think now when we get here it's more technical and i should do a separate video of uh shipping let me just go go take you through the whole onboarding and i'll do a part two with only shipping so this is the booking confirmation booking confirmation is actually needed at the at the gate where they scan the barcode to check your products in to say oh yes you booked this and you've arrived this is more like an appointment letter to confirm with them that oh okay fine you booked and you've finally arrived um so these are the paperwork that you need uh for you to get to for you to be for your product to be checked in so okay and now i need to go back to onboarding um let me see if it's gonna take me back oh 
okay so I was on 4e so now I have to go to F um, okay so in relation to the e-commerce warehouse the warehouse that's just saying that it's a very big place then you have to package your things that if they fall no one's going to be responsible for your falling for falling and breaking of your products just make sure that you package them in a way that if they fall from a heap height or table counter height it doesn't did they say three meter i think it's a three meter i'll confirm that also and then the goes takes you through the goods receiving guide and this is the labeling and the shipment we've done this shipment and then that's that's the e part of onboarding so oh, this this video is actually taking very very long than i anticipated then this is how get ready to start selling and how to start seller um, selling seller portal onboarding so also it takes you through the whole portal which is this the portal the dashboard it's where you see everything this is don't mind the numbers that you see there it doesn't matter and this is the dashboard if you are selling on lead time this is when you're going to see your lead time orders and at the bottom there is notifications or let me say communique that they always send to us like here they send communication and if you've got an invoice to send to a customer who requests that you send it from here you get it here and then you send it so this one is saying about the annual birthday sale if i want to participate and all that then oh guys i think i'm getting i'm overwhelming you right let me just end it here and then we're going to continue with the portal um, video and also the um, yeah everything on the portal so i'm gonna make a separate video for existing offers new offers shipment sales accounting your reports sorry and growing your business uh a, a api and your support tickets are not really uh train smashed i'm sure if you go around and now you're familiar with the dashboard and everything then you can um use the api integrations and your your tickets so yeah actually i also wanted to uh, to show you something on oh okay i wanted to show you how to book your first your first delivery your first delivery to the to the dc so this you go to shipment you go to replenish new re shipment replenishment and you're going to see all your products so if you are new this is gonna be not buyable it's gonna be orange not buyable so mine is green because it's buyable and now you are going to go to quantity sending Oh, okay let me do this quantity sending which is here focus yeah so you add the value let's add 12 here okay let's do this let's add 12 so that means I'm sending citronella and vanilla 12 of them right and i put all the values there on every on all of them right so let's just put that and also here let's put that i want to send nine to Joburg. oh okay let's not put 12 in cape town because they're gonna decline being a lot of them unless there's a lead time so I'm putting nine and five. Ooh, my laptop battery is getting low. So let's do only these ones, right? These are just two. I'm sending both to Cape Town and Joburg. So I'm gonna say create shipment. 
and it's gonna tell me that I've got 10 units in Cape Town and 18 in in Jobek. So I'll save this. So this is what my shipment is called. I can even change this if I wanna change it to something else and name it maybe um, anything I wanna name it. I can even name it maybe say Citronella order or Citronella anything I want to name it. So now it takes me to draft shipment. So um, okay. so it now takes me to draft shipment where I then I then now have to come here and process my shipment. Now let's do the Cape Town one. I process my shipment. Um, process my shipment and this is okay. After processing my shipment, then I'm gonna get it on draft. Uh, so it's these two. So I just have to mark them here, mark them there, and then mark them as confirmed. So it says that this shipment cannot be edited once confirmed. So once I confirm my order, I cannot add more items on this order. So it's either if I'm still not sure of how many items I want to send, I can just keep it on draft until I'm sure how many I want to send or maybe I want to add another item. So I'll come here and confirm my shipment. After confirming my shipment, then it's going to take me to confirm shipment page. This page is called confirm shipment. So now it's telling me that I've, I'm sending five units to Cape Town, right? So what I do now from here, you come here and you book delivery. Now it takes you to the adaptric, what is this? What is this? Adaptress um tab so you go you log in you sign in and mine is always popular always always been populating because um this is my laptop anyway so i go to book deliveries so this page is a different page from the take -out portal as you can see at the top here i have two tabs open seller portal and take a lot booking so this one so as you can see it's take out and super belize so both people selling on super belize and take a lot we use the same system so as i come here uh my laptop is running low as i come here already you can see that my order is here sending quantity 10 which is stock to cape town and the po numbers generated and everything so I'll actually come here and say, oh, sorry. I'll have to mark it to say which one am I booking for. So in case maybe I confirm both Cape Town and the, um, the Jobek orders, I just have to tick the one that I'm doing at the moment, I'm processing at the moment. So I come down here, accelerated shipment. This means now that I am booking. So, so the other thing I didn't say it's here, I will always tick this one. I'll deliver in person because I don't use preferred uh, take a lot um, careers. So now it is, as, it, as it is on this page now, this is the time that they've given me. I'm delivering in person even though I may choose to use a private career in Cape Town. This is their address and this is the items that I'm sending and the units. So now i would go i would choose another slot usually to see just to see when i want to so i go down this is the calendar so i'm like okay fine it's giving me from the third uh third i might not be ready with my stock let me say i want to deliver it on thursday so i'm gonna choose a slot here so they're telling me that it's after the time they've given me my first available one was the third and I have to deliver before the fifth. So I might also again still go down and say, let me choose the fifth and I'll choose this one. 
so this one is fine so i'll say select booking slot down there and i'll say confirm booking so <laughs> Because this is a demo for you guys, that means now I'm going to have another job to go and cancel the order. So you confirm your booking. And this is what it says. You confirm your order. So my order is confirmed. They're sending me that my order has been confirmed and, 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 and. So now I go back on my portal. Going back on my portal now, as you can see, there's shipping label, the one that we said is a six up. Shipping note, the one that you have to put inside the box, which is the way bill, and your product label. These are your, your barcodes. I just want to download this and see if you can be able to see how they are going to send you your your barcodes um let's see if this is gonna open for me so because it's only 10 items they are gonna be down so this is how they gonna look like so what i do is just take my six r pages and print them out on an inject pr printer any printer that allow yeah, because it's normal paper anyway so yeah i think for today this is it then i'm gonna do a video on my existing offers new offers shipment um a full one on shipment on sales on accounting and all the other parts so thank you for watching today